Yo, what's up guys? Okay, big news just dropped and I'm super excited about this because Samsung is finally stepping up their game with the Galaxy S26 series. We're talking about the Exynos 2600 chip that's going to power some of those phones. And get this, it's the very first smartphone chip to use AMD's brand new RDNA 4 graphics tech. Yeah, RDNA 4. That's the stuff AMD is using in their latest desktop cards. And now it's coming to phones first through Samsung. How crazy is that? Let me break it down for you simple. The GPU in this chip is called the Xclipse 960. It's based on something Samsung calls MGFX4, which is basically their tweaked version of AMD's RDNA 4 architecture, made smaller and better for phones. Last year, the Exynos 2500 had MGFX3 from RDNA 3, and now they're jumping to the next level. This is huge because mobile graphics have been stuck on older tech for a while, and now we're getting cutting-edge stuff straight from AMD. So what's new here? They kept the same number of those building blocks, eight workgroup processors, or WGPs. Think of WGPs as the main muscle parts of the GPU. Each one usually has two compute units inside. But here's the smart part. Samsung actually lowered the top speed a tiny bit from like 999 megahertz last time to around 980 or 985 megahertz now. You're probably thinking, wait, slower clock speed? That sounds worse. Nah, not at all. They did this on purpose, to focus on efficiency, meaning the phone won't get as hot, battery lasts longer, and it can run hard without throttling down. And the payoff? They say the computing power is double what the last generation had. Double! That's insane for gaming! Ray tracing, you know, those realistic lights and shadows in games, is supposed to be way better too, like 50% faster in some cases. Imagine playing Genshin Impact or Call of Duty Mobile with prettier graphics and smoother frames without your phone turning into a toaster. Oh, and Samsung added this cool new feature called ENSS, Exynos Neural Super Sampling. It's basically their version of NVIDIA's DLSS. It uses AI to upscale the picture, make games look sharper and run faster without needing extra GPU power. So you get higher frame rates in tough games, better image quality, all while saving battery. That's the kind of smart tech that makes a real difference when you're playing for hours. Now, let's talk real performance. Early benchmarks are out from Geekbench, testing the GPU with OpenCL and Vulkan. Those are like standard graphics tests. The Exynos 2600 hits around 22,000 in OpenCL and 22,800 in Vulkan. Compared to the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, that's Qualcomm's top chip right now, it scores about 23,900 and 27,600. So yeah, Snapdragon is still a bit ahead, like 10 to 20% faster in these tests. But hold up, these are early numbers, and real-world gaming might be closer because of that efficiency focus and the new AI upscaling. Plus, the Exynos is on a super tiny 2 nanometer process, which should help with heat and power. I'm honestly pumped, because for years, Exynos chips got a bad rap for lagging behind Snapdragon in graphics and getting too hot. But this feels like Samsung is serious now. They're working close with AMD, tweaking the tech themselves, and adding their own tricks like ENSS. A Samsung rep even said they're keeping the partnership going strong with AMD, so this isn't a one-off. The Galaxy S26, probably the base and plus models in some countries like Europe or Korea, will get this Exynos 2600, while others might stick with Snapdragon. The Ultra could be all Snapdragon globally, but if you're in a region getting Exynos, this could mean killer gaming performance without the usual downsides. What do you think? Is this going to make Exynos competitive again? Are you hyped for better mobile ray tracing and AI upscaling? Drop in the comments if you're Team Exynos or still waiting for real tests. I can't wait to get my hands on the S26 and benchmark this thing myself. This might be the year mobile gaming levels up big time. Alright, that's it for now. Smash that like if you're excited, subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.